Hello folks, welcome to Canal Channel Jose. Today we're gonna show you, give you an idea how to replace the oil strainer or filter on a Volkswagen engine or Carmen Gia. So we're gonna be replacing the oil and re removing the strainer, putting a new strainer and then uh, putting new oil. So we're gonna show you some of the procedures and how you can do it at home without taking it to a shop. With that said, let's jump right into it. To perform this uh, replacement, we have the uh, strainer that we're gonna be installing. For us to take this guy out, we have to remove the plug in the bottom, drain the oil out, which is a 13 16 on our case. And we have the big ratchet for that. We have a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet for the bolt, for the six bolts that uh, bolt down this strainer underneath the pan of the engine. But we have to drain it out by removing the 13 16 plug that is underneath there. And then once we replace this, we we're gonna be adding our oil. This little engine requires two, two and a half quarts of a 2050, and this is uh, especially for these uh, little engines. We have our container where we're gonna be catching the oil. So with that, let's remove the oil plug. So our driveway is in a, is in a slope, so we have lifted the front end so we can balance or even out. So the liquid collects to the, to the middle or evenly on the pan. So that way when we take out the oil pan uh, drain plug, the oil is more level and it drains out more evenly because if we leave it on a slope, there's some oil that is gonna get caught on the lowest point and we're not gonna take it all out. So that's why we have lifted our front end so we can try to level out the engine so we take that uh, oil out. So as you're looking at the engine from the back, right underneath here is the oil pan drain point for the engine 13 16 once we take that off and the oil drains out we can take that six 10 millimeter bolts off so we can remove this plate and the strainer is going to be right in there so first we start by taking this plug off one thing is that if you have these washers and they're uh they're made to seal between the bolt and the oil pan and if they're damaged or you take them off, I will replace them with a new one. For example, this one is rubberized with a metal. So we take the old one from the plug that we took out from the oil pan and we put the new one. And that way we get a good seal when we put this back on, when it needs to go back uh, into the oil pan. But for now, remember, replace those washers because you might get a, a leak in there and then it's going to or you don't want it to come off loose because that washer that it was there is damaged and it won't do its job. So here's the oil still draining. So let it drain all the way out. And then we can start taking out those six 10 millimeter bolts. And then we can start prepping our strainer that is gonna go in there. So this filter or this strainer is about $15. So they're not that expensive, but it's worth replacing because it comes with the gasket as well. So one thing that we have noticed is that this uh, strainer comes with the copper washers for the six bolts that go on the bottom, the bolt on this strainer, and for that plug as well, the new one. So the, if you buy it, be careful. They might come in there, so you don't uh, just start cutting it and lose these guys out. You're going to need these. So here it is, the set, two gaskets. It comes with the strainer, six little copper washers for the bolts that go around this. And the big one is for the oil plug. Now that there's not much oil draining out, we're going to take the six bolts off so we can remove the, the plate. So those are not actually bolts. They're actually nuts that when they're on, they look like bolts on. But as you can see, there's a stud that we have exposed because we already removed one of the nuts. So there's six of these guys that look like bolts when they're on. So we remove them all. So now we took off all six nuts, but we left two barely on so we can hold the plate as we are prying into it so it loosens itself from the gasket and it comes loose. So we just uh, start going around like this and loosen it up. We have taken out the bottom plate, so now we have to get the strainer unstuck from the oil pan by prying into the side. Now 
now that we have removed the strainer, we can uh, clean around where the gasket is. So when the new gasket sits in there, there's no oil leaks. So with one of these blades, going to go around and take the old gasket off so we can clean around. So here's the old strainer. So, and there's the copper washers that go on the bottom of the plate. And that's where the oil drain plug was. And look at all this gunk. So the order that is gonna go is gonna go gasket, strainer, gasket, the bottom plate where the oil drain plug is. And then on the bottom is gonna be the little washers and then the nuts finally. And at the end, we'll put the drain plug in. One thing is that don't forget to take this gasket off as well that is stuck to this cover. Because this might create an oil leak if you put overlap them. So we want to start with a fresh one. So we clean them out. One thing we want to say is that if you're using these kind of blades to clean these areas, make sure you're pulling pushing away from you so that way if it slips it doesn't cut you off because if you don't have control of this it can cut you really bad just one thing about these blades now that we have cleaned this plate as well we put everything as it's gonna go in so the order that they're gonna go is gasket strainer gasket cover washers and then the nuts on the bottom so we put this on So right there we have a gasket, strainer, we put another gasket, and then the plate with the washers and the bottom and the nuts. Right there we have two nuts and two copper washers right underneath this plate, just holding it there. So we're going to put the four more washers and the nuts and tightening everything. Now that we have put them on by hand, we can tighten and completely. Now that we have tightened all the six nuts and everything's back on, uh, we're going to put the drain plug on. Instead of using the copper washer that came with it, we're going to be using one of those rubberized washers that we had. These are an upgrade. But you can use this and there's no problem with it. But in our case, we're going to be putting this. So we put it in so, and then we can start adding the oil. There it is, the new uh, strainer. Uh, we put all the new gaskets and we tighten everything back up. So we did it to clean out that area from the inside, from the gunk. And it had some gunk in there. So now we just need to add the right amount of oil and uh, get this engine running again. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to add 2.5 quarts of oil. And that's what we have right now. Two full quarts and a half of a quart of oil. We're going to be using an adapter hose so we can, because we can't tilt the oil cans in here. So we're going to remove our cover, put in the 2.5 quart, and then major it and then start our engine. So we have added two cords. We pulled our dipstick and that needs to be up to this mark. So we still need half of it. So we're still short. So we're good now. We're up to here now. So now that we have changed the strainer and the oil, what we're gonna be doing is before we start it dry, or with some oil on there what we're going to be doing is we're going to disconnect that coil so it just turns over and it splash oil around and then we'll plug, connect the coil and then start it right up so it, it has at least some movement oil in the beginning
Now we connect our coil back up and then turn it on. Well folks, hopefully this video of uh, replacing the strainer was useful. We took out the old oil, the old strainer, we put the gasket, strainer, gasket, and then the cover, plug back up and then uh we added a new oil to two and a half quarts about and this is a 2050 two and a half quarts so if you can lift your car so you can have more clearance on the bottom that way you can work and look at what you're doing without trying to feel around so we recommend doing that so with that said folks for our friends who are watching our video have to subscribe to our channel please subscribe if you like the video give us thumbs up share it and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canal the channel jose